This is one question taken from NCIT says that a dome of a building is in the form of a hemisphere, right? Like this, it's a hemisphere, hemispherical dome looks like this. And further it says that from inside it is whitewashed and the cost involved is in whitewashing is this value, right? This is the total cost involved in whitewashing that is 4989.60. Further it says that if the cost of whitewashing at the rate of rupees 20 per square meter, that means for every square meter, it ha we have to pay rupees 20. Now what we have to find in the first part is the inside surface area of the dome that is curved surface area and then we also have to find the volume of air inside as you know for getting the volume uh, of air I've written here the volume of air inside is same as the volume of hemisphere that means in short we have to do two things in the first part we are going to find the curved surface area here and in the next case we are going to find its volume so these are the two things which we have to do. Let's start with the first part. We know that the total cost involved is equal to area, which is curved surface area in this case, multiplied by the rate. The total cost as it is given here. So we are replacing this value with 4989.60 and curved surface area of a hemisphere. You know, curved surface area of hemisphere is let's it be CSA as we have to get CSA in this first part and the rate which is mentioned as 20. So what we can do, we can write CSA over here and transpose these values. That means 4989.60 that divided by 20. Now what I can do, I can remove this decimal here and reduce it. So when you reduce it, you are going to get CSA. This value will come as, let's remove this decimal put but two additional zeros, this get cancelled, it is reducible. So this is 49896 and we'll be dividing it with 200. So we are going to get this value as 249.48, that much meter square as you can see the unit is given in meter. So we got the first value, that means from here we can say CSA that is curved surface series to 49.48 meters square. Now in the next part, they have asked to get the volume and we know that the volume of a hemisphere is uh, the formula is two over three pi r cube. That means in order to find the volume, we need the radius and to get the radius, what we are going to do is to replace this CSA. I'm going to replace this value that is CSA here, right? I'm going to replace this value CSA with the formula. And what's the formula for curved surface area? It is, it is two pi r square. That is equal to 249.48. Later, this, we can replace pi with 22 over seven. Let r square be r square. And this is 249.48. As we know, we have to get R square. So let's transpose it. It is 249.48 that multiplied by 7 and divided by 2 into 22. Now what we can do here first, I can see it is divisible by 11. So we'll be dividing first by 11. So I'm reducing it on dividing this by 11 two times. This will come as 2, 2 and then 0.68. So further it is divisible by 2. So I can divide it 2 into 2, that is 4. If I divide this value by 4, so it's coming as 5.67. As you know, that we have to get perfect square here as we are looking for the under root of this. Try splitting them in terms of their square. I know 5.67 uh, can be this 567. I can write this as. 0 0.81 that multiplied by 7 into 7. So r is equal to its square root is 0 0.9 and that for this will be 7. So therefore r is equal to 6.3 meter. So once we get the radius, now we'll be going to calculate its volume. So the volume, as you know, volume of a hemisphere is 2 over 3, that is pi r cube. Now what next? We'll be replacing these values of pi again with 22 over 7. 
we got the radius as 6.3. So it's 6.3 into 6.3 into 6.3. Now check, this is 7 into 3, that is 21. And this 21 comes in three times. So this is 0 0.3. Now in the next part, what we'll be doing is to calculate this. This is uh, 44, right? So 22 into 2 is 44 and 44 into 3 comes out to be 132. That is 132 and it will have one place of decimal. And that is next we'll find out is square of 63, which is 239. 3969. And this when multiplied, now we'll be multiplying with 13.2. So it should give you five yeah, it's coming is giving you five two three five two three nine zero eight and then we have uh, some decimal place here that is one for this two decimal place here and one that is three decimal place so finally our uh, volume that means the final answer should be five two three point nine zero eight meter cube so this is what we have to calculate we have to get two values first here and the second for this volume we have already got this value that comes out to be five twenty three point nine zero eight meter cube